hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at some of the commands that we have available on ubuntu that we can use to troubleshoot wi-fi network issues i'm gonna open the terminal here and then we're gonna run through some of the commands so an example of an issue you could run into is if you go to the your wi-fi networks and you're trying to select a network and if it's it's grayed out you don't see an option to select a network that could be an issue with your drivers or firmware so let's look at the commands we can use to check or troubleshoot that so the first command i'm going to go over is a the command just to check whether your wi-fi interface is in an up state or down state and the command is ip link as you can see here it tells us that so this is our wi-fi or wireless interface and this is the wired interface and if you see under state it shows that it's up now if it was down you have an option to do sudo ip link then set then you need the name of the interface and then up and then you'll need to put in your password the next command is for checking the hardware configuration for our driver and the command is ls hw for list hardware now we'll need to do sudo then ls hw dash uppercase c network this should give us the details of the different interfaces that we have this is for the ethernet or wired interface and for the wireless interface we have right here we have uh, the configuration information under here you'll see that we have the driver information and firmware information the next command i'm going to cover is for checking the kernel messages and this is where you can input this information and see if there's any errors as far as the firmware so let's go ahead and uh, do the command it's going to be sudo and d m e s g we're going to pipe this to grep and then we're going to put these first three letters here a t h uh, it's going to show us here information related to the loading of the firmware or drivers so you see here it says register new interface driver and then this is the same as this and we're not seeing any errors here and we're even seeing that the the country code it's right here and it's saying it's used using a uh, us us as the country now if you are having firmware issues you'll see a lot of errors let me show an example of what somebody posted online of the kind of errors they were getting so if you look at this output so the command is the same but if you look at the output you can see that uh try to load direct firmware load for uh, I'm guessing this is the driver. It says that it failed with an error. And then it says could not fetch firmware. And as you can see, the, the errors just continued and they are related to the driver. So in this case, the person will need to install uh, the correct uh, firmware in order to fix the issue. So those are the first two commands you can start with if you're having issues with your Wi-Fi let's look at uh, other commands available to us now the the next command provides details on our wireless interface as well and the command is iw list now you need to put the command iw list and then the interface name and then you can put either of these channel rate uh, keys modulation and this will provide you with uh, detailed information let's try a few examples so it's going to be sudo iw list uh, let's try we actually need the name of the interface here and let's scan so with this one what we can do we can scan any available access points within our range if you're not having any issues with your wi-fi you should have get an output otherwise you'll get an error here it's going, so this is going to display the different access points and the information such as the channel number, frequency, and so on. The other uh, option we can try here, let's do channel. Let's see what channels. 
uh, available to us. Uh, we see channel 1 to 11, and then there is the frequency as well. Okay, we'll move on to the next command. Uh, so the, the next command can show us information about, about our wireless interface, and uh, we can also use it to change the parameters, like uh, we can change the channel frequency and all that. And that command is iwconfig. And as you can see, it's telling us the mode of the wireless interface is managed, the SSID that we are connected to, the access point, MAC address, signal level, and, and so on and so forth. Now, like I said, you can use this to change some of the parameters. Say, for instance, if you wanted to change a channel, you could say sudo iwconfig, then the name of the interface, and then you can say channel, let's say channel 11. And that would change the channel for you. So I'm not going to be changing this. I'm going to undo. Let's move to the next command. And the next command is ifconfig. This one displays information about all the interfaces that we have. But you can also use it to do stuff like disable an interface. So if I wanted to disable this interface, I could do sudo ifconfig. And then I can say down. And now if I do IP link, it should show that it's down. You can use this to bounce the interface to see if it resolves an issue. To bring it back up, I'll repeat the command and say up. And if I do IP link again, it should, it should show that it's the state is up. Let's look at the last command. Now the last command is for checking again if the wireless interface is blocked. And that command is RFQ. You can use it to check here. As you can see the interface type WLAN ID. And right now it's unblocked. And if you needed to use it to lock the interface, you just do RFQ and block and then the interface ID. Now if you wanted to unblock, unblock interface ID. And if you have more if you have multiple wireless devices or Bluetooth devices, you can do RFQ list all. So that's it for this video. Those are the different tools or commands we have available to us when we're troubleshooting issues to do with our Wi-Fi. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.